金もさ取りませんBefore you click away, I'm gonna go over a really quick overview of Aura and let you know what I think about him on a tier list and a small overview of some of his moves. Now if you want me to sum up Aura in just one word, it would probably be trash. That's right, I said it, he's trash. Now hear me out to the end so I can let you know why I think that and if you do wait to the end I'll give you a small guide on his V skills on like matchups to use his V skill one and his V skill two. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the good stuff that comes to Aura. Now his best normals is probably his standing medium kick. I think it's plus three on block and sets up some really good frame traps. After that, you got the move I call the thousand years of death. A thousand years of death! It is not special cancelable, but you can cancel into your V trigger, which is a great way to start your combos and V trigger. His standing light kick is really good, but personally I like his standing light punch. It's plus on block and it kind of looks like he's telling the dad joke. Hey Ryu, what did Ken say to Dan when he asked to borrow some money? Sure you can. Get it? Get it? Now that is basically the good stuff with Aura. And the only reason why I'm keeping it that short is because a lot of the other good stuff he has, other characters do it much 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 better. Aura is essentially a turtle character and you gotta rely on your fireballs and your normals to kinda keep your opponent at bay. But when it comes to fireballs, Aura falls really short at 16 frames on startup for his, for his fireball. You know, other characters that use keep away or at least zoning tactics like Guile, his fireball is like 11 frames on startup. 
and even Chung Lee has a hard attack, a hard Kikoken that is nine frames at startup. So again, there's just other characters that do it way better than him. And another thing that's bad about Aura is that he is always in the negatives. Now, right now, people are still learning the matchup and people are still getting used to Aura, so you can kind of get away with murder when it comes to some of his moves, but I would say a couple of months from now, or probably you know less than that, people are going to realize what they can punish and what they can't punish, and a lot of his special attacks is punishable. And you would think with him being a turtle character, he'll have some great anti-airs. But unfortunately, he falls short there too because they're situational at times. His EX Dragon Punch, which is basically him yeeting himself in the air, it misses on anti-airs a lot, so you have to rely on his medium, uh, medium punch DP, which isn't bad, but sometimes you just want that extra you know, guarantee that you're going to hit your opponent out the air. And he even has an anti-air fireball, but you don't want to rely on that because a lot of times p characters can actually just jump right over it. So if your opponent tries jumping in and you don't have a charge ready for a DP, just use his crouching hard punch. But if you're pretty sure your opponent's going to jump in, then you can just use his standing medium punch, and that would be a good combo starter right there. Now, if I had to put Aura anywhere on the tier list, at the highest point I can think of for him would probably be mid-tier. But to be honest, I see him right there with Alex and Jury. If you want to play a turtle character so bad, I would just suggest Guile. What's that? you don't want to play a boring character well fine if you don't want to play gal i would probably suggest you playing dalsim oh what's that you don't want to be a shitty person well if you don't want to play dalsim i would probably just go ahead and just play nash i think nash has the same potential of keep away skills as or but he's a little bit more fun and last but not least i'll go ahead and do a quick little matchup on which v skill you want to use for each opponent so his v skill one which is basically the orb that he throws on the ground you really want to use that against people that have no way of like teleporting behind you or c closing the distance really quick. So I'll have like screenshots of each character that V skill one works on. Other than them, then I would probably just go ahead and suggest sticking with V skill two, even though it is punishable. It's a great way for you to end your combos and also it's a faster way to build up meter without putting yourself in danger. So that is basically it for this overview of this character. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and take care.